Hey crafters, you got Sabrina here. I'm gonna try and do a short tutorial on how to use the length offset feature in Inkscape. I have four different things I'm gonna do with it, so hopefully whatever it is that you're looking for, you're gonna find it right here. So let's get started. Quickly, I'm going to add some text to my project. We're just going to type in a few things and I'm gonna change that font to stencil. Adjust it by selecting Control and Shift. We're going to add another text in here. I'm also going to change the font on that. And again, hold Shift and Control to adjust it. Okay. I'm gonna add an image here. This image is something I did on Design Space. I'm just going to go to Path and Trace Bitmap. I'm going to select how many colors I have and remove my background. And this is truly the way you would do any SVG. So here I have my SVG file. I no longer need my image there. And to be honest with you, I don't even need all of the colors. So I'm just going to go and do path and combine so that it's solid. So the first thing we're going to do is how to put or how to thicken our font. So I'm going to, I have this font here and I want to make our lines just a tad thicker so that when I cut, it does not give me an issue. So I'm going to go to path and combine and then I'm going to go back to path and select linked offset when you select linked offset it's going to give you this little node here and if you haven't done so in your project yet the snapping feature is automatically highlighted so you want to unselect that so it's no longer enabled and then you want to take your node select and hold it and then just drag it and you want to drag it as much as you want so if you drag it just a little bit it should give you a thickening of your fonts by putting you know a border basically around it and you can make it as thin as you want in order to be as thick as you want so what I would do in design space probably would be to take my original fonts hide contour on everything leaving all my circles and my basically letter holes if you will and then slicing those out of my letters that way when I have it then I can actually see it so we're gonna do path object to path and that's gonna change it to a cut file so I went from having one node to having multiple nodes and what I mean here you can see these have the holes in them but my E did not so just to have my E I would go in there and hide contour and just slice my holes out of the insides. So that's one feature. The other feature would be to just make a border around the whole thing all together. And it's going to be the exact same way. So we're going to go to Path, Combine, because it is a font. So basically we're welding our font together. Go back up to Path and do Linked Offset. Look for your node. Here's our node right here. We're going to take our node and we're going to drag it. I'm going to change the color down here so that we can see what node it is. And I'm going to drag it up until all my letters are touching because I want it to just be one solid background. So there, it's touching right there. I like it. I'm going to go back up to path, object to path. So it goes from having one node to all my cut nodes. And then I'm going to come in here and delete all these inner nodes. Again, this is not something that you want to have in design space because it's just going to lag it out and make it go slower because it's thinking that it has to cut all these extra little fine dots, which I do not want. I might even get rid of my inside of my K and the inside of the T. So now I like what it's looking like and there's my border. So that's feature number two. So we've thickened our fonts, we've added a border to our fonts, and now let's add a border to our image. So here, after I've made my image a solid piece, 
I'm going to again go to path and linked offset. Um, sorry, uh, linked offset. There's my node up there. I'm going to drag it, change our color so you can see it. And there we go. Once again, you can make your border as thin or as thick as you want. It just depends what you're using it for in your project. Again, you want to finalize that cut by going back up to path and doing object to path. All right, we want to get rid of that. And our final option, our final option is to select everything. Go up to path and union or path and combine and basically we're welding it then we're going to go back up to path and linked offset we're going to look for our node which is right up here zoom in so we can see it up here and then we just want to drag and stretch it out change the color so we can see now i'm going to drag and stretch it out until everything touches because the whole point is i want to have one solid piece around my whole thing here it's not touching yet so I'm going to just keep on stretching it until it's the way I want it and realistically if this was more centered it would have touched earlier my border could have been thinner so either way it goes you get what I'm saying again you want to finalize it by going to path and object to path you can separate it and delete all those extra nodes you don't need I won't go and take all of them out just for the sake of time but you get what I mean these you want to take them out like I said because it's going to consider this a cut portion and you don't want to have all those extra little dots in there cutting for no apparent reason it'll slow down your Cricut machine so there it is in order to get it into design space you're gonna go up to file save as give it a name it's gonna save as an SVG file save it and then you can import that into DS like you would any other file. So I hope this helps somebody. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me. Hey crafters, you got Sabrina here. I'm gonna try and do a short tutorial.